All right, hopefully we're not too washed out. I have the curtains down, um, and even though it's a cloudy day, that's happening. Um, so, even though I haven't finished the first <laughs> the YouTube Pagan Challenge from last year, um, I'm jumping into the next one. Um, and with this one, A, I'm behind, so I'm probably going to be grouping the videos together more, and then also, if it's a bullet point that I just, just doesn't pertain to me at all, I'm just, I'm just not gonna make a video for it, because it's just, I, I realized, I was like, it was kind of pointless last time when it would just be like, yeah, this really doesn't pertain to me, <laughs> or when I was like, there's Peganard and music. So, we're gonna be doing one through four today. So first is show and tell your grimoires, notebooks, journals, etc. So this one is mainly for magic. Also, I'm learning astrology, so my notes for that are in here too. This one is more for shamanic journeying, journey work, writing stuff down from that, thoughts, ideas, questions. Dream journal, pretty self-explanatory. And this little one is the Book of Emotions, kind of the Book of Venting, because I realize if I don't have anyone to talk to about something and it's just like keeps bouncing around in my head, it will continue to bounce around in my head until I write it down here. So this is, this is the angry book at times. It's a lot of, a lot of swearing in this one. Okay. Um, and what type of book do you prefer? Um... I guess composition notebooks is mainly what it's been so far because the first one that I started doing it in was just like a composition notebook that I had lying around like had pages ripped out of um I can't remember I think I was writing a book in it before like that's what it is I'm I'm like as I've gone through my room and like done cleaning and like purging of stuff I found just a lot of like four to ten page in started like blank journals <laughs> everywhere <laughs> like I found four and it's just like geez don't know what's going on here um I'll probably end up using those just because like why not I mean it's like use it because it's here okay how do you protect or consecrate your book um I don't really do protection and like with consecration at least in my practice it's that the sort of the act of starting it is thus a consecration of what um it's for it's like when i was making rattles like beforehand i had like this is going to be my rattle for eagle this is going to be my rattle for raven so it's like that when i actually make stuff the actual creation of it is the consecration all right as for protection um I don't frankly care too much because if you're looking in this if you don't know what you're looking for then um you're not going to really get anything from this okay how do you organize your books table of contents bookmarks etc i thankfully i thought of this um earlier or beforehand so this isn't my newest one this is the second sort of magical notebook I've gone on to because I filled up the other one and um, I just do the date just mainly the month and the day at the start of like a new year I'll put like 2017 like you know at it and um, I just do yeah month and day because I can if I need to like go back and look for something like what did I put in this sachet or what did what was that incense recipe that I wrote down I like kind of can remember although it's getting hard like recently I had one where I just had to flip through the whole book and was like yeah um I mean there's paper clips on the old one because there's like a section that was just when I was using as a diary with my like spiritual awakening and whatnot and trying to work stuff out there um but that's mainly how i organize it is just date it um nothing too crazy how do you start a book getting over um perfectionism and creative techniques so funny story about this one this is a smaller one i bought a bigger one that's like this actually let's see can you actually see that better yeah so it's like leather bound 
And I was like, you have to wrap it up and whatnot. I have a bigger one of these that I just loved. I like knew I had to have it and I just wouldn't write in it. And to this day, it is still unused because I was just like, it's too beautiful. Don't really know why, but uh, yeah, that was my thing. Is like, I was like, it's too beautiful. I don't want to ruin it. So hopefully once that one will eventually get in the mix because like also downstairs I have one that I bought like another it's not a composition notebook but it's like journal style hardcover that was on clearance but it's like I said I just have all these like half started things everywhere and I'm just eventually gonna probably write in them that's just my thing um so getting over perfectionism you just have to go for it really when I was writing this I had no um Thing on just like uh, no opinions on it I'm gonna be real oh this one started in two th I started this one in 2015 sorry I just saw like the date and I'm just like hmm was this 2015 because right here I have something that says 2016 I might have dated that wrong would that shock me no I'd have to look at the old one. Um, so, yeah, just perfectionism, like, just get over it. That's my thing. I've, like, scribbled out words when I write them wrong. Um, creative techniques. Um, there's, like, in here I have, like, little flyers. Like, this was from the Pagan... What was it? The, the Pagan Pride Day flyer. I have one thing from the Labyrinth Workshop I went to... Um, this one also has notes from then. Okay, it definitely was 2016. Um, yeah, so I have, like, notes from there. Yeah, I can... I just... I'm not really a creative drawing person, so... I don't have that in there. Alright, so this is me starting the YouTube back in 2016. Or 17. I'm gonna decide what I want to do with the rest of 2017. So, I'll see you later.